If you share your Android phone or tablet with other people, whether they are friends, family or colleagues, it's a good idea to set up additional user profiles for them. If you have shared a Windows PC, then you may already be familiar with the concept here. Each user has their own login password, complete with their own apps, files, settings, wallpaper, etc. Many Android phones have a similar feature built in. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to create multi-user accounts on Android. To set up multi-users on an Android phone, you first need to enable the feature from settings. So, go to settings. Click on users and accounts. Tap on multiple users, then turn on multiple users toggle switch. You'll then see the options to switch to guest mode or add a secondary user. A guest account is more restricted and temporary than a secondary user account. If you just want to lend your phone to someone temporarily, you can quickly switch to the guest mode. If you want to allow phone calls on the guest account, just turn this toggle on. Then tap on enter, then tap on switch. It asks whether you would like to start again or continue. To resume the previous session, you need to select continue. If you select start again, it will wipe all the guest data from the previous session. The guest account is already set up on your phone, so you do not need to manually set up anything. The quicker switch is one reason to choose the guest mode over the secondary user account. The guest can now safely access the phone, but not the owner's apps and files. You can see the phone is like brand new. The file manager is also completely empty. The guest can install their apps from the Play Store by signing in to their own Google account. After signing in to their own Google account, they can use any personalized apps such as Gmail, YouTube, Chrome, etc. You should know the guest account doesn't have the privilege to manage user accounts on the device. They cannot add or delete a user from the device. To quit the guest mode, Simply select your main account and tap on switch or you can quickly switch between the accounts from the quick settings panel. After switching back, the guest cannot access your main account because it will require the lock screen password or pattern. The guest mode is useful when you need to give someone temporary access to your phone. But if you want to share the device with someone permanently, you should create a second user profile. To set up a second user profile, click on add user. Type the name of the user and choose a profile photo if you'd like. Now select the profile you just created. You can enable calls and messages for the user if you want and tap enter. It'll take you straight to the setup screen. The setup process is the same as if you were setting a new Android device. Just follow the on-screen instructions to get it done. Now the user account is configured and ready to use. All the phone settings are back to their default from the built-in apps and the home screen wallpaper. It's almost like having a brand new device. The second user can now install any apps from the Play Store and use apps like Gmail, YouTube, Chrome, etc. Also, he or she has a new separate space for photos, documents and other files that other users cannot access. 
Again, the primary user of the device does retain some privileges not available to the secondary user, including the ability to reset the phone and add or remove other user accounts. In the future, if you get to a point where you no longer need a second user account on the device, you can easily remove the profile. To do so, simply select the user profile and tap on delete user. Guys, please remember that the multiple user feature is not available on all Android smartphones. Google's Pixel phones and OnePlus have had this feature for many years on their headsets. For Samsung, multi-users are still largely limited to the Galaxy tablets. Xiaomi or Redmi do not have the feature available on their smartphones or tablets. Other phone brands like Oppo, Vivo, Realme, Asus, etc. may or may not have this feature. Is the multi-user feature available on your Android phone or tablet? How do you use this feature? Share us your suggestions in the comments down below.